Brand new model data coming in today showing the possibility of two tropical systems making landfall in the Caribbean, maybe even the United States over the next week. Hi everybody, I'm meteorologist Chris Justice, keeping you up to date on all things tropical, all things severe weather. If you're new to this channel, please consider giving it a subscribe as we track the storm systems day by day. As we're watching right now, we have multiple areas to watch. You see Nigel thankfully staying away from land because it's a Cat 1 hurricane now. Now, set to be a cat too as it pulls away into cooler water. This map brought to you by Tomerberg, uh, just a fantastic way. You can Google that and check it out yourself. It is a fantastic tool when tracking the tropics. Very bold, bright colors. I just love it. Uh, closer to home here along the southeast coast, there's a 30% chance of a named tropical system within the next week. That would be mainly this weekend. And then we have the potential of another system deeper out into the Atlantic. We have the possibility of a couple of different things making landfall. And we need to look at the models closely because the GFS for several runs in a row is trying to tell us something. The European at times is showing a similar signal. So let's look first at the satellite. Right now, we've got a great picture of Nigel, a major hurricane, a strong hurricane, I should say, moving toward the north. It's got a lot of organization with it. It is moving into cooler water, though, as we move into tomorrow and beyond later into this week. Closer to the United States, we have an old frontal boundary, and these are oftentimes breeding grounds for tropical activity, and that's going to be no different this weekend as another cold front comes down here from the eastern United States, and the two kind of help to spin some stuff up along the coast. It doesn't look to be strong, but it's something we need to keep an eye on. Let me show you the European. This basically highlights all 51 different runs of the European model and areas we need to watch out for. And you can see Nigel bright and red right there in the middle of your screen moving toward the northern Atlantic. Then we've got a couple of other areas to watch off the Cape Verde Islands, a little area here in the Caribbean. Need to watch all of those, but look at this bright spot showing up here. This would be Saturday, all 51 varieties of the European showing about a 50 to 60% chance in that yellow color right there of a named tropical system. This could be a tropical depression or a tropical storm. We'd need to watch it, but it's a quick a mover looks to provide for some wind and some rain along the coast and could mean for a cool kind of crisp little fall weekend ahead Saturday and Sunday as it pulls down some northerly winds um, into the southeast. I know there's a lot going on this weekend, so we're going to keep our eyes peeled on that. More on that in just a few minutes. But look at the other activity bubbling up into next week. We've got next week to watch out for. The European shows a curve away while the GFS shows a westward turn and a stronger hurricane. Let me show you what we're talking about. I'm going to map it out step by step. First thing that grabs your attention is Cat 1 Nigel moving toward the north, likely strengthening to Cat 2 later today before it moves into cooler water and begins to weaken. The red, darker orange colors here, that would indicate higher than normal pressure. That's off the southeast coast through Wednesday, Thursday. Really nice weather. Beautiful across the east coast. Cool mornings, warm afternoons. But look what happens as we get into the weekend. Pressure starts to drop across the southeast coast, and it's a pressure differential. Uh, basically like putting your finger over the end of a uh, water hose. It's going to basically allow that water to shoot out faster. Same story in the atmosphere. Uh, there's a little funnel going on here to where there's high pressure to the west and low pressure right here. And that's going to allow for a tight gradient with a strong high right here. It's going to make for a cool Friday night, Saturday, even into Sunday for a lot of the East Coast, Virginia to the Carolinas, Georgia, even into Florida as the gradient there. But uh, the models here showed that that gradient could also spin up this low. Basically, the higher the pressure gets here, the lower the pressure gets here, kind of help uh, balance each other out, so to speak. That could lead to a low-end tropical system forming Friday, Saturday. This model, the GFS, is the most aggressive, although the European's pretty close to it. Shows about a thousand to maybe even a sub thousand millibar low, uh, possibly tropical depression or tropical storm moving toward the Myrtle Beach area, Wilmington, or the Outer Banks. Uh, Friday night into Saturday. This would provide for some wind and some rain. Uh, for us in the Western Carolinas would mean breezy conditions. Maybe some, some extra showers get thrown around that, but more so just a breezy kind of cloudy, cooler Saturday and Sunday. 
as this thing moves toward the north northeast. Okay, that's that. It's over and done with. Models don't really blow it up into a big system. Yes, we'll have to watch that closely. But I do want to show you, especially for our friends in the islands, windward and leeward islands, the GFS here for a couple of runs in a row is concerning. It's showing a possible stronger tropical system developing about a week from now, Monday, Tuesday. This would likely be a Cat 1 hurricane, maybe even a Cat 2 heading toward the Windward Islands. This is definitely approaching Cat 2 at this point, and it'd be about exactly a week from right now. You see it right in here. We'd need to watch that closely. This model shows a very strong hurricane getting into the Caribbean. And as you know, I've been warning you about how warm the sea surface temperature is currently in the Caribbean, and that could allow this storm system to really strengthen. Uh, this shows possibly a major hurricane. Cat 3 moving into the Caribbean here. This would be next Wednesday, Thursday. Then it gets close to the Dominican Republic, uh, parts of Haiti. Hispaniola has 10,000 foot mountain ranges. It's called the hurricane killer for a reason. If this model, the GFS here, takes it over that, uh, it would disrupt the system, could dictate where it goes. But we've got a monster right here in the Caribbean. Uh, next week, according to the GFS, it takes it uh, to eastern Cuba, and then Turks and Caicos, the Bahamas, we're watching it closely for you, Florida, I mean, it's getting dangerously close next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, and then it looks like the jet stream, you get periodic cold fronts this time of the year, the jet stream would orient so that it starts to pull it north instead of west, so it's on a western trend through Friday, Saturday, then it gets pulled away from the United States, possibly a threat to Bermuda as it re-strengthens uh, in that category, so who uh, the GFS shows, we've got to watch that, folks, it's a more concerning look than the European Let's map that out. First, there goes Nigel's for some bearings. Uh, high pressure builds in the rest of the week, making for a nice end of the week. But look what spawns up quickly. One of those situations where it's like from nothing to a tropical system in a day or two, then it's gone. Uh, I'm okay with those. We want those in and out of here. Um, just know that even the weakest of a tropical system can present inland flooding, which we know is the most deadly form of a tropical system. This moves it up through eastern... Uh, parts of the Carolinas, Myrtle Beach, Wilmington, and it fizzles it out where we could get more rain in the Western Carolinas or Georgia. Uh, parts of Florida could get some of that rain too going into the weekend. So a weekend wild card. Simply put, I think it's going to be cloudy and breezy, but it could be more rainy in some locations, especially if that thing forms into a tropical system. The European, let's advance this out. The new one is processing right now. As we look ahead, it shows lower pressures entering the Caribbean, but it doesn't have anything closed off. You see blues here. It's a very similar look to the GFS in the fact that it shows lower pressures, but it doesn't have a closed off low. It'd be very interesting to see how things pan out later today. Let's look at the ensembles. This is 26 different runs of the GFS, just to kind of see, is it on par with its operational run? Yes, here, a thousand or so millibar low. Nothing really jumps out at being 990, 980, anything strong. So it confirms, yes, we're looking at a kind of a graze by probably a low-end tropical system this weekend along the Carolina coast. Uh, let's look deeper into uh, next week. Monday, Tuesday, we saw a possible tropical system forming here and then moving west. GFS model shows Ah, we need to watch it, but it doesn't have a lot to write home about just yet. Let's map out the lowest pressure of the ensembles. It shows uh, something in here, end of next week, moving, 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 kind of right in there. So it's got a couple different lower pressures that we'd need to watch over Cuba and the Atlantic, but it doesn't really have a good idea of what's going where yet. So we've got signals from our models that say, there's a couple of areas that are possible to develop into uh, possibly even a stronger hurricane, but we just don't know exactly where yet. So uh, at this point in my forecasting is when I'm watching it closely. I'm letting you know, hey, there's a chance next week could be a little bit dicey, but it's nothing to get concerned about. It's nothing to cancel plans over. And when that happens, of course, I will let you know. As always, my commitment is to give you early warnings when it comes to severe weather, hurricanes, tornado outbreaks, wintry weather, and to give you a reliable forecast and to give it to you direct. If you appreciate my no-nonsense approach to forecasting, I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Folks, I'll be on top of it for you, and we'll keep you posted.